There's a policy. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more military videos. The Zamboanga siege was an armed conflict in Zamboanga City, Philippines, between the forces of the Philippine government and the faction of the Moro National Liberation Front, generally known by the other factions as the rogue MNLF elements. It is led by Ustads Javier Malit and Kaid Ahibon. The crisis erupted on September 9, 2013, when this MNLF faction attempted to raise the flag of the self-proclaimed Bangsamoro Republic at the Zamboanga City Hall. The units that were sent to Zamboanga City was the Task Force Zamboanga, the Philippine Army, the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, the Philippine Marine Corps, and the Philippine National Police were responsible for recapturing the besieged city. A total of 5,000 combined AFP and PNP forces were sent. The Philippine Army supplied their armored vehicles. The Philippine Air Force supplied their attack aircrafts and helicopters. Meanwhile, the Philippine Marine Corps, together with the Philippine Navy, supplied light armored vehicles, corvettes, and patrol craft. The armed forces of the Philippines received intelligence reports that the MNLF would launch mass operations in Zamboanga City three days before the incident happened. AFP spokesman Colonel Ramon Zagala said that according to intelligence reports, the MNLF troops were deployed to the coastal barangays in Zamboanga City on September 8. The initial confrontation occurred around 11 p.m. on the evening of Sunday, September 8, 2013. A Navy patrol boat intercepted a large motorboat and eight other smaller vehicles and eight other smaller vessels carrying armed men near the coastal barangay of Rio Hondo. This led to an exchange of fire resulting in several casualties, including the death of one of the Navy personnel and two civilians. On September 9, 2013, at around 4.30 a.m., the MNLF entered the city and killed four people, contrary to the first report of having six people killed. Four barangays were occupied by the MNLF, namely Rio Hondo, Santa Barbara, Santa Catalina, and parts of Talontalon. The group held 20 civilian hostages in Barangay Santa Catalina. And around noontime, more than 200 civilians were reported as being held hostage by the MNLF. These were later used as human shields. A curfew was later imposed throughout the city that day, virtually shutting down the entire city. On the second day, the Philippine government deployed a larger force in the city. A naval blockade was set, and more troops and units were deployed, including four units of the elite troops from the Naval Special Operations Group. At dawn, city police prevented 30 members of the MNLF from joining the main force. By morning, the MNLF fired rocket-propelled grenades and mortars at military positions. The clash between the MNLF and government forces spread throughout the barangays as residents fled their homes while some people could not leave the area due to fear of being caught in the crossfire. During the afternoon, a fire erupted in Barangay Santa Barbara that raised houses as the firefights between the MNLF and the AFP ensued. Four fire trucks responded but were delayed as they needed to have a clearance from the military before entering the area due to the presence of the MNLF snipers hidden around the buildings. From September 16th to the 28th, 
the army started to pound MNLF positions in Barangay Santa Barbara with mortars. A civilian vehicle was accidentally hit by a mortar round as the battle raged on. Airstrikes with 520MG McDonnell Douglas MD500 Defender attacked choppers and Marchetti SF-260 counterinsurgency planes started firing their rockets against alleged MNLF positions in the city. A total of three rocket rounds from a 520MG of the Philippine Air Force struck unspecified enemy stronghold between 1 and 1.30 p.m. Later on, 33 hostages were released. Zamboanga City Police Chief Jose Malayo, who tried to negotiate with the rebels, tried to release more hostages, was reportedly abducted and held hostage by the rebels. Later in that day, he was freed, bringing 23 rebels who had surrendered. As the gunfight raged on, the army said that the government forces killed 120 rebels and now controlled 80% of the areas that had been occupied by the rebels. According to DSWD, due to the fighting, the number of displaced residents has risen to 110,000. On September 18, the military took control of KGK building on the final days of the clashes. It was one of the main strongholds by the MNLF controlled areas. However, when the forces of the Philippine military arrived at the building, the rebel commander had fled before the army could capture him. In total, 183 MNLF members were killed. 292 were captured during the firefights. Meanwhile, the Philippine military lost 25 of its men with having 184 more wounded. The civilians were also not spared, having 12 killed and over 70 civilians wounded and more displaced. All in all, the Philippine military was able to recapture Zamboanga City, but at the cost 